We all know uh, the great hymn with which uh, the Eighth Symphony of Mahler starts, Veni Creator Spiritus, uh, uh, which is, you know, a kind of expression of what, what the arts can do, Veni Creator Spiritus. I mean, what, what, what the creative spirit, which is not uh, uh, equal with the scientific spirit, what the creative spirit can do. And art can transform society. The Greek tragedies uh, 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 did it. In a certain way, Beethoven uh, did it. Unfortunately, the successful Richard Wagner did it. Were all <laughs> and the Beat Generation, in a certain way, uh, uh, did it. And the Rolling Stones and David Bowie. Um, so, the power of art to transform, where is it? And, 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 uh, and, why, is, and why is music so powerful? On TikTok. Why is it, sorry, is it Why is so music powerful? so powerful? It's very, I mean, I'm very suspicious of, in myself of any argument that says mm. that art is transformative or can be the foundation for any sort of um, sense of the other. I, I think having lost most of us the sense of this other power, mm -hmm. the, the, religious, the religious side of music has become thinner. Um, and I think we just have to see music, as I suppose, as being part of the good life in an Epicurean way. I mm -hmm. don't, I mean... At the same time, I see in myself a feeling listening to music that what is so extraordinary about music is that it's a language that doesn't, doesn't have any particular defined meaning. It's not language. And it, it, it talks about things that we can't talk about in words. And that's a very mm. powerful social technology, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And it can move you. Mm? Yes. Music yes. is... Yeah. Yes, it's, it's my, for it's me, it's like the best... Yeah. Mm. But it, it talks to, to your heart. But it talks about things that we can't talk about rationally. Like, That's true. I mean, I know scientists try and talk about time and, you know, Carlo Rovelli will write a book about the nature of time and time in relativistic and quantum mechanics and this sort of thing. But that's not really our experience of, our experience of time. It's, not, it's a mysterious thing, I think. But therefore, I think yeah. it's not so much, I, 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 I totally agree with you mm. that, that I, I also am not a believer <laughs> that art really can, change you know or transform i'm not sure of that but I, I i i think what you're saying is that art has a there is a vital force within a society where art has its, has its place and it's really important you know it's and really ne necessary i think think of all the uh we have our lives are full of rituals funerals birth anniversaries marriages whatever uh, 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 whatever that's stage huh? that's mm -hmm. like it's directed it's it has a, a structure you know and it's a structure leading to a catharsis mm -hmm. always you know that 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 uh, in a, that's also so painful now that people ha cannot be together for funerals, you know, because if you miss that moment that you can really release that energy and you can think, okay, it's, it's good. You know, this mourning process, how short it is, how long it is, but we need that, you know, and I think that's also what art gives. Eh? Art, mm -hmm. we, we also create forms so that you can be moved because at the end of the day, I think theater, of course, it's, it's also food for thought, uh, also, but it, it's it's basically the best theater and the best opera. It's when these two things come together, when thought and emotions and this, the emotional life come together, and that's what what art can do, what a, what a great novel can do, what music can do, what theater can do, what opera can but do. There's no guarantee that it will do good in the same way that there's no guarantee that science no. will do good. I mean, there's this line, no poetry after Auschwitz, and there's George Steiner's argument about all these people listening yeah. to Haydn and Mozart yeah. as they were doing these terrible things. But it's the same with that there were people, there were scientists pursuing sick science but they were they i mean there's no guarantee when you engage with art that you're doing something good but it's nevertheless part of it's part of human existence